Man. This is a sad, 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 sad situation. Many times these incidents happen. People say to themselves, you know, this is the way it is and such and such. And, you know, with all the controversy that went on yesterday, people were hitting my phone up at like, Two in the morning talking about, yo, man, AB and Tank got into it. Now, the problem is that everybody who was there that was cool with the situation normally are cool with both people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now you you're you're trying to just break up the situation and then you got guys who want the situation you to pick a side in the situation you know and it, that's when problems arise you know this is what happens when liquor and weed massacre people minds i don't know what the incident was about but both guys are fighters and both guys are dangerous to hang around you know there's an incident that happened here in Chicago with uh, Tank and Adrian Broner. They came here for they came here for another situation to all together. They was here to support a fighter that they were cool with. So they came up here and Tank was there and AB was there. They kicked it and an incident almost happened at the after party. Because that's what all these young fighters, now these guys are like 4-0. Oh. You know, they're not even fighting 12-round fights and they worried about an after party. You see what I'm saying? And that just shows you where the mind state is of some of these uh, young fighters. And, you know, that they are caught into the impressions of these other guys. So, the incident happened. At, in Chicago and I don't want to go into full detail but you know Tank was the one to have the more level head in that situation and AB he had to basically check Adrian Broner and tell him you out of pocket you know what I'm saying like we causing problems for the people that we came here we don't live here dog in the shortest of terms is saying we don't live here, bro. These guys live here. You know, they got to deal with this situation when we leave. You know what I'm saying? So we going to create a bigger problem. You know what I'm saying? So he which he was right. You know, you guys are the big stars. You guys go home. The people y'all there with, they going to be left there to deal with the consequences of everything else that's going to go down after y'all leave. You know, because this ain't going to be the end of it. <laughs> and Tank understood that. AB had to be explained that. You know, was he drunk? Yeah. Was he high? Maybe. So, <clears throat> these are the type of things that happen behind the scenes. That could have led up to what last night was about. Now, if you come in here to find out what happened last night, all I can know is the details of they got into an argument in the hallway area. And in the hallway area of the Canelo fight, Adrian Brauner took a swing at Tank because he didn't like what Tank said to him. Did Adrian have a drink last night? Yes. Did Tank have a drink last night? Yes. Were they high? I don't know. But liquor was involved. Now, with that being said, uh, some guys that was there with Tank tried to intervene 
and was hit also by Adrian. But it wasn't it wasn't a big punch as what Tank got hit with. Tank wasn't like wobbled or anything by the punch. Uh, or anything like that. It wasn't a situation where Tank was knocked out or anything else. Tank was trying to get to him and people were getting in the way, intervening. They trying to get AB and all these guys out of there. Now, will there be consequences? Absolutely. There are going to be some consequences behind this. And Al's going to contact some people and things will be done and handled in that fashion. Um, they had a lot of different instances in the past where these two have fallen out and then they become brothers again. You know, Adrian Broner is the one that found or discovered Javante Tank Davis and brought him to Floyd Mayweather. And was like, yo, help me promote, you know, Tank, because this guy's the future. You know, he got it. He the next one. And Floyd was the one that really brought him to prominence. So, he was like, all right, and then next thing you know, that's how it was, because Adrian wasn't in, his AB promotions wasn't in position at the time to help Tank. Then when Tank get mad at Floyd, he'll go and hang out with AB. And AB and Floyd would always have problems because it's the youth versus the older the guys who've been there you know and today's young five folks you know they super sensitive about everything what floyd was trying to do was give these kids some advice and say you know what you know kids this is what we need to do okay as people this is how we gonna handle the situation you know this is my approach this is what I think we should do. And everybody want to be Floyd Mayweather, want to live the lifestyle. They want to be the flashy. They want the jewels. They want to be on TMZ. They want to be on the BT shows. They want to be at the award shows and drape down and all the Gucci stuff. And they want to be Floyd. But they don't want to do what it takes to be Floyd. That's the problem. They're not willing to make the sacrifices Floyd did. They want to still have their fun and still, you know, think they can do what they do. So that's the thing. They want to have their fun and go out there and say, okay, we're going to have our fun and then we can still go out and win on the fight night. That'll get you through a couple fights, but the fights get tougher, the competition steps up, it's going to fall back on the discipline. Floyd don't drink, he don't smoke or do any drugs. He don't have any tattoos. He don't have any ear piercings. Do you realize this, that this guy has kept himself disciplined to the craft? And that's the keys to Floyd Mayweather. See, you got to have that core built in you. So he can go out and have a good time and hang out with everybody and do everything in his possibility to make it appear like he just does this all the time and don't really take it serious. But no one outworks him. No one tells him when to train. He does it himself. He don't need anybody to, to guide him or get, put him on training wheels. So what he's always, only thing Floyd has been guilty of with Adrian Broner and Tank Davis is scolding them. Like, because they're, they're overgrown kids. They've been given a lot that more than he has had when he was their age. But he built that platform for them to get that in advance. To get the big house for their they wife and kids and moms and dads. They're getting that without even being proven. So... You're getting these pay-per-view fights. You're getting these big checks. So when you're getting these big checks off the strength of what Floyd did, now there's a situation where 
you guys don't even know about situations that took place between uh, Floyd and Adrian Broner and how Floyd would publicly make statements about Adrian Broner that were true. But Adrian just didn't like it and was like, you should have just told it to me directly instead of making it be known. But he's like, I, I did tell it to you. So it's not like you didn't know. I said these things to you, but it's tough love because it's like, look, dude, you want to be me. I gave you the blueprint to be Floyd Mayweather and you don't want to follow it. I gave you the blueprint. You don't want to give up the drinking. You don't want to give up the drugs. You don't want to give up all the parties. You think you could do all of that, balance that, and still be the, the great fighter. You can. That drinking take a toll on you. That smoke going to take a toll on you. You know, you could have been the greatest fighter probably ever. We don't ever know. Tank is in position right now, and A.B. was feeling a certain way when Floyd was saying Tank was the guy and everything. But these two, they'll work through it. Tank and A.B., they'll be back boys again, but... I think it's just a detraction. I don't think they should hang. I think they both need to be away from each other. You know, I think they need to focus on getting themselves better, being better people. Because as of right now, it ain't looking good, bro. It ain't looking good at all. Anyway, I'm out. Y'all have a great and blessed day. Take care of each other out there, and definitely support the page. Hit my cash app up, which is Carcino, or click the link in the description box. That's my super chat down there where it says donate. You want to leave your number or something, want to talk, doing one of the videos or something, we could do that. And on that note, I'm out. That's it. Stop it.